Hey guys, it's Katie. So today I'll be showing you guys how to collage your binders for school. And this is one I have from last year, but I made this little thing today in this tutorial. So if you guys want to learn how to make one of these, um, stay tuned. You're going to need binders or whatever you're going to collage, agendas, planners, etc. You're going to need magazines, tape, scissors and colored paper which is all in there and yeah so and creativity you're gonna need that too so let's get started so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your magazine this is Mary Claire with um, the Dakota fanning on the cover and what you're gonna do is just go through the magazine and find pictures that are pretty big or pretty small it really depends like say I want this picture of Dakota fanning I'd cut it out and I just make a pile so say I want these watches are really cute. Um, what I'm going to do is just take my scissors, just cut around it. What I do is I cut this part first. And I usually just rip out the page so then I can get a clean cut. isn't perfect because you're going to be overlapping things anyway so mm -hmm. and now what I do is I just make a pile so say this is going to be my pile so I'm going to put all my pictures in this pile so yeah I'm going to do that and I'll be right back okay so now that I've cut out a pretty good amount of pictures um I just have, you know, the usual. And then I have a few words. You want to cut out some words, too. Like, I have Sephora, love, beauty, fashion, and fashion. And then over here, I just have, I just wore out full pages. Like, this is just a full page from Mary Claire. And I really love Mary Claire Magazine because they have these, like, really great collage already. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is just take this and one of a colored piece of paper. You're not really going to be able to see this. It just makes it a little bit thicker. So, I'm going to take this magazine um, picture, or this like page, tapes the edges of this magazine picture to the colored paper so a little bit of the yellow can stick out and make it kind of look, I like how it looks like this. And what I'm going to do is just take my pictures and just pile them on, or just put them on in different ways. Um, since it's already really crazy in the background, you don't need very many pictures, but um, let's just say if you didn't have one of these and you just had a plain piece of paper, you're going to want to put tons of pictures on there and just like collage it so only a little bit of the space is still showing. Uh, this is great if you don't have very many magazines to use. I'm going to take this Starbucks ice cream picture. I'm just going to turn it over so this is the back of the picture. And I'm going to take this little scotch tape thing that has this clear tape on it. And I'm just going to tape the back of it. I just did a few lines of tape so it sticks to this. We don't need it to be um, fully covered on the edges. We just need it so it just sticks. So I have it right there. See, it's not coming off. And I'm just going to collage the rest of it. Okay, so I just collaged this. I just put random pictures on there and I just overlapped some words. So the last step is taking our packing tape and we're going to take the layers of this packing tape and just put it in um, vertical layers on here, making sure we don't have any air bubbles in it because that can really ruin something. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this tape in a really long just strip and I'm just going to layer it on top really, really carefully. Smoothing it down like this. And I'm going to turn it around and just fold the edges that were extra just over the back so they're not just hanging off. Yep, and I'm just going to do that to the rest of it. It gives it a really light, nice laminated effect. So, yeah, let's, I'll do that and I'll be right back. So I'm done. I put all the packing tape on it so it's nice and glossy. And what I'm going to do is just slip it in one of these binders. This is the binder I have from last year. So what I'm going to do is just slip it in the cover. And look how cute that is. It just, I don't know, makes your binder a lot more personalized because you can put in stuff that like really reflects you. It was a very easy tutorial. Um, it was really highly requested, so that's why I did it. Um, so I'm going to help my sister with hers because she has gotten some pretty good progress over there. And if you have a binder like this, what you can do is you can take the paper and just put it on the front of here and then laminate it or put the tape on it on the binder, like on the binder itself rather than the paper. 
so it'll stay on there nice and tightly. Ashley's a handful of tape. This is our finished product. Um, I actually did three of her binders with her pictures. So what I did was I just taped it directly onto the binder rather than like on a sheet of paper. So this is one. This is the original one, and we collaged. Collaged. <laughs> We collaged her folders over there, and then these three binders, and I think it turned out really great. Um, I really recommend you guys try this out. So, yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys soon, so bye!